Yeah, we're already seeing just a few clouds kind of dotting the skies oh, out already. there. Already. Yeah, but we'll get more clouds overnight and maybe a little bit of rain by tomorrow morning. It is mainly after lunchtime tomorrow that we look to have some strong to severe storms rolling through the area. You look at Greensboro this evening. You see traffic moving great out there near Friendly Center. Mostly sunny skies. Temperatures close to 80 degrees. It's not too muggy either, so it's pretty comfortable. And we've got some breezes out there. Now the wind is definitely going to pick up tonight and through the day tomorrow, even into Saturday. Southwest wind right now at 18 miles an hour. You've got temps close to 80 in Burlington and Danville. Upper 70s showing Winston-Salem, Reedsville, Lexington, Mount Airy. Wind speeds. They're up 10 to 20 miles an hour. The direction is out of the south. That is a warm wind for us. It's also the direction where you will find the showers and the storms. So tomorrow morning, slight chance of a shower for the morning commute across the triad. Better chances, though, the farther west you are with temperatures that are in the low to mid 60s. In the morning, it's warm. It's windy with just a few patchy showers around. Isolated storms by late morning may develop across the triad. They'll be gaining strength as as we go through the day. We're also looking for a line to be moving through the mountains and foothills as soon as midday into the afternoon and evening. It'll work its way across the triad. So that's when the window for severe weather is most likely. Now tornado watch boxes are out over the deep south as the storms are marching to the east. You can see all of the storm damage reports flooding wind, hail and tornadoes from this weather system out to the west. This is the wind damage that's been reported today over Louisiana into Mississippi from that line of storms and they've already had multiple reports of tornadoes across parts of Mississippi in that tornado watch zone. That'll stay up through this evening, Mississippi as well as Alabama, and then it starts to work its way to the east from Georgia, South Carolina into North Carolina. This does include central North Carolina, and that is, of course, where we find the triad. So Moxville, Winston-Salem, Danbury points east under that enhanced risk. Doesn't mean you're not going to see any severe weather across the mountains and foothills just to a lesser extent, but still forecasting flash flooding, damaging wind. Here's how we would rank it. Our greatest threat is for damaging wind. I expect to have some widespread wind damage reports, unfortunately, across the area. Flash flooding and tornadoes in that medium threat zone. I do think we'll have at least a few tornado warnings across the state of North Carolina. We're hopeful that those do not occur in our area. Make sure there's a way for you to get severe weather alerts. So NOAA Weather Radio in your home. Get the WXII 12 News app on your phone. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. You get the watches and warnings there as well. Then you have to know what to do. With strong wind, you want to be indoors, lowest floor away from windows. With heavy rain, avoid streams and creeks that are rising. Water on roads, don't drive through that. And for a tornado, you're going to want to go as low as you can, no matter where you are. If you do have a basement, that is the best place, but the lowest floor of your home, also a good choice in an interior room away from windows. Here's the hour of hour forecast at midnight into early tomorrow morning, where you do see at least a few showers around. Notice just a few of these pop up storm cells. This is what we're talking about for late morning morning across the triad. The main event though starts to push in lunchtime into afternoon where we could have some wind damage or at least an isolated tornado kind of embedded in this squall line pushing to the east by about six o'clock. Still a pretty active radar and even into the nighttime hours there will still be a few leftover showers and storms up until maybe midnight. We're looking at heavy rain, some one to two inches of rain likely across the area and in some cases closer to two plus and that's where we'll likely see some flash flooding. So your 12 hour forecast shows the focus in the afternoon for the triad with temps in the mid 70s. Morning showers followed by afternoon storms in the foothills with that flood risk and that wind risk as well. Notice that 100% chance afternoon and evening for the mountains. Morning showers, afternoon storms, strong winds, chance for flooding. And again, you're looking at that focus being noon to early afternoon for the mountains. So it's a little bit sooner. There's your seven day forecast. We are cool and perhaps a little damp on Saturday. Chilly Easter morning, but drying out.